everyone you're welcome back so today we'll be joining our fabric together the one we caught in our last tutorial so if you have not watched the last last um, video where we caught the round neck polo i would advise you go and do that before you watch this one so the first thing we do is to bring our polo the one as the front and the back panel so the portrait overlock machine and you join the shoulders together so you don't know how to thread this machine you are going to go and watch the video on our youtube channel i want to drop the link at the description box thank you so let's join the shoulders together so after joining the shoulder as you can see i will be joining the sides together So after joining the shoulders and the two sides together, we go ahead to join our sleeve before joining it to the body. So after joining the sleeve together like this, we are going to be attaching it to the body. So turn it to the right side. The body like this. So the right side inside, right the wrong side outside. Then you put your sleeve inside this way. The arm all attached to each other. The arm all, all, all make sure they align very well. Then you start sewing. Then yeah, bring it up like this. The notch point to the shoulder. Then adjust your sleeve. Yeah, now we are doing joining the body and the sleeves together. I told you last time that I'll be cutting the neck band after joining the shoulders together. So I'm going to measure the neck to know the neck measurements and know the measure the size of the band I'm going to be cutting so that we can finish up the neck. Then from there we go to the cover stitch massage tipping machine to tip the, the the damp side and also the sleeve. So now to measure the neck. Stick neck measurements, the stars. So I have 11 inches. 11 inches. Don't forget, I'm, I'm, I'm measuring it on fold though. So when you want to cut your fabric, that means that's 22, 22 inches. So I'll be deducting, I'm um, cutting 9 inches on fold, which is going to be 18. So I'll be cutting 18 inches long. For the neck band and for the width, I want the neck band to be one inch. So that means I'll be that's a, it's going to be on fold. That means I'll be cutting two inches or two point two. So by the time we are done sewing, we eventually have one inch neck band. So I've cutting eighteen inches long and two point two inches wide. Now I've cut the neck band. I cut nineteen inches long and two point two inches wide. I cut 19 inches because I will have to join it together with 0 0.5 inches from both sides. So I will have 18 inches left. Now make sure whenever you want to cut your band, cut it along the stretchy parts. Don't forget that the neck band is smaller to the neck measurement. So we have to stretch it so that it goes around the neck. So make sure you cut it uh, along the side that is more stretchy on the fabric. So after that, you join the band together. So let's do that now. After joining your band together, fold it into two like that, then turn your clothes, that's the bodies, 
into the wrong side because we are going to be joining it like that. So we are be jo we'll be joining the band on the back neckline, not the front neckline. And when you want to join it, make sure you join it away from the shoulder joining, like one inch away from the shoulder joining. Don't start from the shoulder joining and not close to the middle, just like one inch away from the shoulder joining. So place the joining of your band. You can see where we join it together. After folding it, place it at around that place, just one inch or 1.2, 1.2 inches away from the shoulder at the back neckline. Then place it under the footer. Hold it down a little. Yes, raise the footer. Hold it down a little. Take your time to adjust it very well. You know, we have three layers like that. The double neckband and the bodies. So hold it down a little. Stretch it to go around the neck. Adjust it very well before you start running it. So that you can have a good sewing. Adjust, adjust very well. There you saw. Now we are done with the neck. We are done with sewing of, an, uh, of the neck. So we go for the taping of the damp part and the sleeve and also top stitch. The now I want to tape the damp part as the hemming and also for the sleeve. So don't forget that we had just one inch. So fold it inside like this. No more than one inch. Advisable. We start from the back side. Yeah, it's like this. So put it like this. If you have not watched how to thread this machine and how to run it, please, I'm going to drop the link at the description box. You can do that so that you have more understanding about this machine. Allow it to climb on this. Just need to drag it down and bring it out. We do the same thing for the sleeve. We added one inch to hold the one inch inside. So we want to top stick the neck, top stick the neck run. So it makes uh, the neck of the polo to relax very, very well. Let's 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 do the top stitch. You can see. Wow. So I give it a press. You have your run neck. Thanks for watching our video. Give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And I'll be there to read our comments. Thanks so much. If you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please kindly do that. See you in the next tutorial.